All right, here's how the air conditioning and heating system works at Aspen Apartments. Um, basically, there's a boiler and chiller system up on top of the uh, uh, laundromat. And in the summertime, the chiller is on, it makes the water really cold and it circulates all around the building. And in the wintertime, it makes the water, the boiler makes the water really hot and that circulates around the building. It comes into each apartment and in the hallway is where the unit is at. And the cold water or hot water comes in through a coil system, which is up in here, uh, which you can access by pushing these little uh, pieces of uh, uh, tile out of the place. You can also take some of the screws out if you need to access into anything. And basically that water goes through a coil system. And then all that has to happen is, since it's already hot or cold, whichever time of the year it is, there needs to be a blower to push air through the coil and then the, out the other side makes the hot air go everywhere or the cold air depending on what time of the year it is. And it'll make it go out the vents. Show the vents over here, okay? The vents uh, come out of this box and then the vents blow the air out of the uh, registers everywhere. So the main components of that that need to work are the hot and cold water needs to be able to get here. If for some reason there's a blockage and nothing's hot or cold but the blower is working, well then that means there's some type of a blockage with the hot air and air with the water. Uh, in this particular unit, the water is working fine, the temperature is fine, it's just not blowing correctly. So, there's only really two things that can go wrong on these. One, either the blower is not working correctly, which is what pushes the air, and you can hear that running right now, I think. Um, uh, or there also could be a blockage of the water. So we'll do another video where it blocks the water. Today I'm going to show you how you can take the uh, take the blower assembly out it could be loud or it could be not working correctly and you can put a new motor in there uh, to make it blow faster um, all there is is uh, you're going to take these two wing nuts off and that allows you access up to uh, there's a filter here you always want to make sure the filter is good and clean and then that allows you in here to this piece right here and Trey if you'll show up in there you can see how there's like a little there's a motor right here and the motor only hooks up in two spots. There's a black wire and a white wire and a wing nut, or I'm sorry, and a, and a wire nut that's holding those in place. So what we're gonna do today is show you how you can remove this piece. And how you essentially do that is you have to take the screws out of this uh, little holding mechanism and that'll allow you up into, the, up into the unit. And the best way to do it if you're by yourself is take out the screws you can, leave this screw and you're gonna put your hand right here at the end and that way you can take it down. If you try to hold it here, the whole system will fall down. It can hit you in the face or in the head or something, so you don't wanna do it that way. So you're just gonna take these screws out. See any more? I don't, do you? Okay. And then the last place you're gonna put it is your hand right in the middle, on the side with the uh, vent door hanging from it. Last screw out. And you can take the whole vent down. Okay, now here's where the coil lines come in. You can see a couple of uh, water lines going in. Uh, that goes into this part, which is the coil. And then when you want to take this motor off, all you have to do is you undo the white wire and the black wire. Obviously, turn the system off. Go ahead and turn it off, Trey. You're going to turn the motor off so it's not blowing anymore. And then you would uh, undo the black wire and the white wire. And that's the only wiring to the motor area. And then there's normally on almost all of them, this one's different, almost all of them, there's two wing nuts here on the bottom. You loosen those wing nuts. And then you can just lower this part down. Then the coil is still up there, but the motor and the blower system is out. The blower can be changed. You can see those little things that uh, the little squirrel cages in there. Those can sometimes rub up against the metal and make a lot of noise. So you can bend the metal around so it's not making noise anymore. You can also replace the motor. Sometimes the motors are not quite fast enough to push out enough air. And in this case, that's kind of what's going on with this one. Uh, so the unique thing about this one is instead of there being the two wing nuts at the bottom, there are four screws. There's one screw here, one screw there, and then two on the other side as well. All you have to do, uh, kind of show up in there. 
All you have to do is take those out and then this whole motor system will come right out of this hole and you can work on the system and then put it back up in there and uh, you're good to go. All right, thanks.